Hello and welcome back to another Spider-Man related video, surprise surprise. This one's, as you can see of the Marvel Legends No Way Home Spider-Man 3 pack. You get a pretty good image on the front. It's very clearly the Statue of Liberty head that we see um, in the final fight scene. You get some good images on the sides. Um, I actually quite like these, I think these have got a nice art style to them. If you look at the back you get more renders of the figure itself, plus well, the figures themselves, plus all the accessories you get with it. Um, I have heard a lot of negativity about these figures not getting into the poses shown, but for the most part you can get all of the ones that are shown, which I'll display later on. At the top you get the Spider-Man logo, at the bottom you get all the legal rubbish. But actually in the packaging you get obviously your three figures, you get all the hands. Um, they don't come with their fists on, they come with like open hands, webbing hands, a few different ones. Uh, they're not like uniform. But then you also get the three web lines. I've never really been a fan of these, although recently for just having more shelf space, I quite like dangling figures off of hooks and things. So these will come in useful. Uh, you get three identical ones, edged in a translucent rubbery plastic. First accessory we're gonna look at, I'll just go through all the hands that each of the figure comes with. Now Tom, you get what you're used to with just the typical um, posed up wall crawl hands. You then get his webbing hands. I'm fairly sure these shouldn't have had the cobweb pattern on the black, but they do. Uh, with Toby, you get asymmetrical hands, which I really like and very newly styled. And then the thwips, uh, they're identical, but they are again, new sculpt, and they're done very nicely. With Andrew, you get um, one typical hand and one new sculpt, kind of curled fingers, and then a new set of sculpted uh, thwipping hands. I like all of these hands. Um, I quite like the asymmetry of uh, Toby and Andrew. It gives it a bit of character. First figure I'll look at is Tom Holland. You can see, if you look at the web lining on the face, there is some slight issues where it's off. Like it doesn't always sit in the groove, there's a black spot at the top. Um, some of the points where the webbing should line up is off-centered. Uh, nothing major, just, you know, for the price point you wouldn't really expect it. The rest of the figure is great, in fact the back of the head is better than the front. But articulation wise, you get your up, down, your side to side. Uh, not too much, I don't think they've done very well with the dumbbell joint. But shoulder up, you get a decent range, full bicep swivel. Uh, I was going to just like cut bits of this out, but you can see how much I'm struggling to bend this elbow. For whatever reason, some of these figures are a little bit difficult with posing straight out of the box. I'd recommend heating them up. Same for the butterfly joint. That could really do with a bit of warm water just to loosen it up so you can actually get the poses, but for the most part it works. Ab crunch, standard ab crunch, it would have been nice to see the diaphragm cut and the new ab crunch for this, um, but they've just given us the same figure they've already had, which again when you know, you're know you doing a 3-pack and you've done all new sculpts to the others, it would have been nice to see the new articulation on this guy. Um, you can only get a 90 degree, you can't really get the leg up any further than that unfortunately. Um, you can see it's starting to wear down at the thigh as well. Again, having issues with getting the knee to bend this far. But it does get there. Um, there is, of course, also a thigh swivel there. You've then got your ankles. They come down a lot, like almost completely flat. Don't go up quite as far, but you know, you still get a decent range forwards. But then, of course, you've got pivot. Now onto Toby, we've got what's actually very good paintwork on mine. I know some people had issues with the web lines not matching up properly throughout the figure. The silver's off in like a couple places, but it's minimal. There's nothing major that's off-centered with it. So QC on mine's quite good. Uh, the head should go down a bit more and probably won't go up that far for you. Uh, I nearly broke mine, so the peg is permanently bent back slightly, but it gets me more range, so I suppose <laughs> these things happen. Um, you can see shoulder gets up much further, it's because you've got a cut that runs all the way through the top, which you can see there. The shoulder joint, you get a good bit of uh, forward and back from the butterfly. Obviously full rotation at the um, bicep cut. And then again, there's a tiny bit of resistance in those elbows, but much better than the Tom Holland one. You get some really good range at this diaphragm cut. You do get a little bit of a hole in the front and back, depending on how far you close. But combining that with the ab crunch, you get a near like 90 degree arch forwards and backwards. Quite unnatural, but I suppose in some photography you could make that work. 
You also get rotation in that cup there. You've also got the drop down hinges here, as this is just standard, no use of drop down, and you've got your thigh cut there. If you drop down, you can get a lot more range up. So you go, you get a good, quite a good bit further up than you normally would. Again, having some minor issues with the joints in the knee. Stiff, but they do get a very good range out of them. You can see that I'm just trying to see how far this can be pushed. Again, I would recommend heating these up with some hot water or a hairdryer or whatever, just before you start tossing them about. Get some good range back, really good range back actually. And then really good range forwards. I think Toby has the best ankle rotation out of all of them, or hinge. And now we get to the best figure of the bunch, in my humble opinion. Now aside from being my favourite, I'm fairly sure this figure has the best QC on it. Like, there's that little bit of paint missing, uh, or like, faded paint on the left shoulder, and that's it. But aside from that, everything's great. Uh, the head articulation on this one seems to be the best. I'll probably go in and mod it at some point so it gets a bit more range. But yeah, you can see, you get the most range out of the lot. Um, shoulder range is about the same, because you've got that cut there the same as Toby. I do think I probably could have done with heating this up. Um, you can see there's a fair bit of like resistance in those butterfly joints. Like it really doesn't want to bend back further, but you can tell it's meant to. Like if I do it on the right one, you can see the right gets a little bit further, but again, not all the way. So I think heating these up a bit before closing them about would be a good idea. Less resistance in the elbow than I'm used to with the other two. And then the diaphragm is a little bit of a letdown because he doesn't get quite as much crunch as you'd hope so. Like, this is as far forward as he gets. Um, obviously you can utilise the ab crunch itself, but even that is as far as you get. So I might go and modify that as well, because he can get back to loads. It's just the forwards that's an issue. Um, out of that diaphragm you do obviously also get the side to side and then the twisting. The twisting was very um, worrying for me, I thought I might snap that pin just shear off uh, but it was fine in the end again would recommend some hot water with the drop down you get a lot more range you can see how much it does drop down by as well so a lot more up out of that and you can see that it just kind of clicks back into place it seems like it has some sort of detent to hold it up so it doesn't just fall back down again having a little bit of issue with the knee but you can see just how good the actual articulation is once you've got it going um, great bend back, not so great bend forwards, uh, and you do get ankle like pivot, but I forgot to record that section. Um, overall, these are just going to be photos now of the figures. I absolutely love this set. Um, you'll see a photo of the pose that's on the front of the box. The only thing that I did have to modify was taking Toby's head off and blue tacking it back on in a different position because it physically doesn't look up that far. In fact, that's as far up as it looks, just there. Um, yeah, you can get into the poses on the box. I don't know why people don't think you can. You definitely can. Uh, the final photo is one with custom-made hands that I've done. I'll be going over all the custom bits for these at some point in a separate video. But thank you for watching. Um, as I said, the next video will probably be the modifications and upgrades of one of these figures.